Top of the morning, everybody. Rise and grind, rise and shine. Even though the sun ain't shining, it's still out. And it's raining. But uh, I just wanted to say real quick, man. Rest in peace to the kid, Paris. I didn't know the kid, but I know a lot of people that know him. And, you know, 2020 is dark, man. This is a gloomy year. A lot of people died. Not just the COVID, but a gun violence. A lot of dudes is dying of violence. Dudes is getting clipped back to back to back to back to back. Niggas is getting clipped, and whoever is shooting, they letting it go. Different niggas. Niggas is going to jail. Niggas is taking lives, and they losing their own life because you going to jail, you're going to get life in jail. But niggas going to give you social security numbers. Not football numbers. You're going to get social security numbers. So, you know, it's messy out here, man. And um, this is why I think I work so much, man. I just work, sleep, and gym. And, you know, I write my music. You know, I still got some fire coming out a little later. You know, for y'all this year, I dropped two albums this year. I'm gonna drop two more in the winter when it's dark and y'all back quarantine if they really do that. And niggas is locked in, y'all have something fire to listen to. But yeah, that's why I think, man, I just work, exercise, and sleep, man, because I'd rather utilize my time to make money. I'd rather, I'd rather utilize my time to build my body, my mind, my soul, man, because there's nothing in the streets. The streets don't love nobody, so I don't love the streets, man. You know, I see a lot of people on Instagram, I ain't judging them. Niggas is always outside. Women, dudes, everybody, you know, bottles. I see the hookah, I see the, I see the, I see the sour, I see the packs, the runts. I see everything, I see all the action going down, man. Enjoy yourself. You know, me, man, my theory is, man, you know, um, work hard now and then play later. You know what I'm saying? You know, grind now and play later. Work hard like a slave so you can live like a king. Some of y'all might don't agree with that theory, no problem, man, but the, 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 the youth need something to be inspired. You know, they need somebody to inspire them, man, and I did all the partying, man. I, I did four years inside after hour spots, strip clubs, whorehouses, and all that, you know, moving that sour and that molly. Y'all that know, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Those that know, that know, you know, I was out there with the perks and all, I did all that. I did the underworld street shit. I, I did everything, man. I did the pimping. I did everything, man. I did everything. I did everything in the early 90s. I did everything when I came home from the bid, from survival. You know what I'm saying? I did all that, you know what I'm saying? And a time had to come for niggas to man up and be mature. So I'm like, yo, you know, fuck that shit. I stopped fucking with the after hour spots and I doubled back up and got two jobs again, even though I always keep two jobs on a consistent basis off and on. But I, one day I had an epiphany, like I went to the after hour spot, that shit was raided. I seen one of my comrades, one of my dudes, he like, yo, I ain't, I lost two guns in there. Them niggas ramsack that shit out, they just leave them shits and get the fuck out of there. I seen everything was outside on the floor and all that. I said, you know what? This is the fifth after hour spot that I was supposed to have been to earlier, but I was at Crown Diner, which was a 24-hour diner in the Bronx. I was eating with my man Coke Boy Bang, you know, a few times, and we flirting with the bunnies in there, and I ain't get to the after hour spot early as I should, even though them shits don't be closing. But by the time I got there, them shits was raided already. And I said, you know what? And I said, you know what? This is a message from Allah. This is a sign. I said, you know what? Let me double up and get a second job now because if I keep fucking with these after hour spots, I'm gonna fuck around and catch a new bid and I'm gonna be sitting up with another 15 joints or something like that. So I, I just left all that shit alone. I went, I went cold turkey. I left, the, I left the streets alone and I stopped fucking with all that shit. And and I ain't gonna lie, I was getting chicken. I was getting chicken. I, I wasn't no super woolly or nothing, but you know, I was doing everything I wanted to do. You know, getting super fleet cabs, tellies, punching a lot of chicks apart. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was going ham. I was fucking porn star, fucking fornicating, whatever y'all wanna call it. But it was at the same time, Allah was sending me signs and it was conflicting with my spiritual beliefs. So I just went cold turkey. I stopped fucking with that shit. I went super abstinent for a minute, you know, and, and, and I just got on my legal grind, you know what I'm saying? Then I then I then I linked up with a with a bunny, well not a she ain't even a bunny. I linked up with a broad for like two years. That shit didn't go right, and then when it went sour, I went back ten months abstinent again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta take breaks from the world. You gotta take breaks from the world. You gotta just sometimes get into you. And I'm talking about mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Just get into you. No women, no men, ladies, no boning, no nothing. Just exercise, work, sack your money, just sleep, just read a book, just pray, 
you know, you can deal with Instagram and Twitter, whatever you want to do, but sometimes you got to just isolate because the isolation is the level up. The isolation is the level up. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to help you to regroup and better yourself because there's really nothing out here. It's repetitive movement and everybody is celebrating what? Because we not winning. We not winning, you know what I'm saying? You know, individuals might be winning. They might have a nice car. They might can go out or take trips whenever they want. But overall, black people and Latinos, niggas is not winning. And, re and, and, and what's real winning to me is niggas ain't owning a uh, uh, million dollar buildings and establishments and niggas ain't owning mass pop property. I don't give a fuck if a nigga own one building. I'm talking about Trump Tower type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking real big real estate, not minute real estate. Even though slow money better than no money, and it's all good. But overall, blacks and Latinos is doing bad. You know, people of all ethnicities, we need to level up. The government is taking over, hostile takeover. It's crunch time. They diminishing our liberties, and we partying while our, while our liberties is being diminished. I understand. Some people like, fuck it, man. We going to die anyway. I might as well have fun now, and then fuck it. When I die, at least I have fun and enjoy my life. I I respect that theory too you know but there's a bigger picture and failure is not an option and there's no time to give up well at least not in my book i don't give up you know what i'm saying because once a task has just begun i never leave it till it's done be the labor great or small i do it well or not at all you know so that's my model ambition is the transition dedication is at elevation you know what i'm saying movement is medicine you know so that's what i that's what i'm about and you know, I got a dark side to me. I don't like tapping into my dark side, but my dark side will just get me life in jail. So don't think, cause you know, I, I, I'm on my positive vibe and I'm trying to inspire everybody. Don't never think a nigga soft because it ain't that, but it ain't all about being tough either, especially not with your own people. It ain't about being tough with your own people. You know, gunning down niggas in your hood or niggas that struggling like you or that look like you. Nah, you know what I'm saying? The goal is to just get to your money, prepare and strengthen yourself. And the true enemy, when they play with you, you pop their head off. You know what I'm saying? But all, us going at each other, that shit is whack. Because every life we take, man, we hindering a family. You know what I'm saying? We taking a brick out of a building. Once a brick is loose in the building, the whole building could crumble. So no matter what that person might do in the streets, they might seem bad or whatever, whatever. You know, when we take their life, man, we making somebody sad. A child is becoming fatherless. And then y'all going to lose y'all life by doing time in jail. And then now y'all mothers are sad and all that. I don't know if y'all ever been through that. But when I did my 13 years in jail, my mother died while I was in jail. Oh, my, my mom's died in 2004. My pops died this year. They said it was the COVID, but I know what they said, you know, but, you know, we, we know it's a mild heart attack. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my grandmother died last year, which is my mother. You know, the woman that raised me since I was a baby, she died last year, kidney failure. And then my father's mother died like four years ago on her birthday in her sleep. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother died last year in her sleep. So it's going down, man. You know, the Grim Reaper's working. You know, he, he's handling his handle. You know, Allah calling a lot of people back. If y'all believe in Allah, a higher power, a higher spirit, a higher energy. You know, a lot of people is getting called back, man. And niggas is getting taken off the grid. And the last thing you want to do is die spontaneously. And you ain't get to tell everybody that you love goodbye. You ain't get to tell your kids that you love them to death and do better. Or you ain't get to leave a message behind or whatever. Some people ain't even leaving a message behind. Some people don't even have no property or no funds or, or, or no estate to leave behind. So it's a lose-lose situation, man. So, you know, everybody just be positive out there. Stay out the way. Use your brain, man. Think harder. You know, think smarter. And get to your get to, man. Make a move to make a difference. Iron, intelligence rule over negative nonsense. Warlord, wisdom and licenses to law over reckless decisions. Stay up like a cup. I holler back on my collar crack and we get up like sit-ups. Some oxygen. Uno.